Hello everyone, and welcome to another Daily Dose of Drupal. Today, we are on episode number 136, and we're going to continue where we left off, learning a little bit more about the Panels module. And this will probably be one of the last Panels modules videos for at least a little while. And we're going to continue on learning a little bit more about contexts, and in this case, we're going to learn more about relationships and how they can be used as a specific type of context. And we'll show two different ways of how that can actually work. As always, I'm Shane Thomas. You can follow me on Twitter at smthomas3. Also, make sure to go to codecrowdy.com and sign up for the newsletter if you haven't already. And also, click this support link and go ahead and become a supporter if you're interested. So, you can help make these videos happen on a daily basis. So, go ahead and check out the panels module and the other Daily Dose of Drupal videos on the panels module if you haven't already to kind of get you up to speed. And we'll go ahead and jump right in. We're going to show two different ways of how this Panels Module page can work. So if you come in to the Panels Module, we have our page here, which has a couple different things that we're going to take a look at. Actually, we're going to go ahead and use a Node View page instead of the actual panel page we were working on last time. But we're going to go ahead and look at the content types here. And I have a content type called Company and one called Contact. And I'm using the Entity Reference Module, which there's also a Daily Dose of Drupal video on if you're not familiar with that, which essentially means we can set up a relationship between these two different, uh, two different content types. So we have a company, which let's assume that we're building a very simple customer relationship management system or CRM system using Drupal. We have a company where we enter in a prospective client and it has just company names, some notes, and then company status. I'll go ahead and move that up to make it a little cleaner. And we could have many other fields, you know, you know, uh, website, phone number, address, all those different types of things. And essentially then we have a contact, which is an individual person within this company. So there is a specific company field, which is an entity reference field, which means that one company could have two or three or four or any number of contacts. So we have this entity reference here which is going to be used in our panel page to create that relationship. If we look in the content I added two companies ABC company and test company one and I do have an example contact here which I'm going to go ahead and reference an ABC company here using the entity reference field I'm also going to add another contact oops that's not what I wanted there we go and we'll reference the test company for this user so how this can work is we're going to go ahead and create a panel page for this specific contact but on this page here, as you can see, this one just has the user's name. I'll go ahead and add a little bit more information just to, so we can see some information. But on this page, we also want some of the company information to be displayed. As you can see, none of the information is displayed right now. So we can come in here and we could, of course, come to the contact manage display fields and we could display the label with the link on it and all of that information and it would display the company information but what if we wanted to pull in additional information about this company well one thing we could do is we could create this as a panel page so the contact will have maybe the contact information over here and the actual company information that this contact works for over in the right so we can easily get back and forth and then of course we could use this on the company page as well and then when you're on the company page perhaps we have the company information and then a list over here of all the contacts that are part of this company and the list over here would be a view we're not going to go over that part today but just know that you could create this as a panel page and just drop a view into a specific section. You just create a view of the contacts for this specific 
company and you could drop that into the panel page and maybe we'll cover that in a future episode if people are having trouble with how to do that so we're going to go go into the pages section and we're going to come into node view we're going to click edit and you can see we already have this contact one set up from a previous example so here it says we're going to go ahead and get rid of a couple of these that are no longer used from our previous example get rid of the search form as well so right now it has their email their phone number the notes and a comment form on a con on the actual contact itself but what we really want to do is display some information about this user's company so we could come in here and add content and come into node and we could say we want the field company here which is just going to give us either the entity ID or the full rendered entity but in this case we only want specific fields from this company we only want oops we'll open up this company content type here we'll say we only want the status field and the company name we don't want the full rendered entity and the status field is either just a prospective client or an active client we could have other client statuses as well but in this case we're only going to have two so the only way to do this then is to set up a panels context which if you remember from last time we added context to a panel page based on either an argument or through just a specific node you can of course use other things than that but what we really want to do in this one is we want to do a node relationship and we'll find our entity reference field which in this case node from node on node company field company and this field underscore company is coming from this content type contact if I go into manage fields you'll see this is field company and that's the entity reference field so that's what I need to select in this list and now I select add relationship it's going to say the node is the node being viewed and it's going to go ahead and set up this relationship now you can see this relationship shows up here can update and save this and you can see now there's node from node company now when we come over into our content section oops I never saved it after getting rid of these fields go ahead and get rid of those and save it now if we come into this content section you'll see that we have a few more options so f first of all we can still add the node title field that's no different the only difference is we can now select this node from node for this field company so that's going to give us the title of the actual company itself not just the title of the contact we are viewing We can also look in here and find that we're looking for the status field and here it is field company status and we'll go ahead and just leave all this as the default for now you can see there's only one node to, or one option or context to select from in this list and that's the relationship that we set up and that's because of course the contact content type doesn't have this field contact content type does not but if we go into the company it of course has this field company status so this relationship links from the contact to the company and gives us access to the fields that are part of this company so now we go ahead and finish this and of course we could add the whole body or notes section if we wanted as well but we'll keep it simple now I'll go ahead and go update and save now I'll come back so the company page still looks the same however if I go into one of the contact pages we'll say Joe Smith you can see here's the email for Joe Smith the phone number some notes for Joe Smith but the company name and the company status that Joe Smith is a part of is in this other section so if I click to the ABC company it shows the company that Joe Smith is a part of if I come into Jane Doe in this case you'll see 
that this is test company one, so it's a different company. The company has a different status. Could have a whole bunch of other company fields like the company website, other important information. I can click on the company and it brings me to the actual company page. Obviously you can see there's a whole bunch of other things you can do here using these different relationships to set up contexts and this is what really makes Drupal flexible so if you're building more of a web application like a customer relationship management system or an inventory management system or something to that extent this can be very powerful and very helpful. You can of course do other things like use panels to display styles and things like that and we've went over some of that in the past but just know that it's very flexible puts a lot of power in your hands and things that you can do and it's very useful for when you're building out various types of websites so that's a good getting started with how to use the relationships portion of contexts go ahead and take it and run with it and if you have any questions definitely let me know and we'll be back again next time with another episode of the Daily Dose of Drupal see you later